Impatience Capensis, or Orange Jewelweed, is probably one of my favorite native flowers. Many people may think of orchids when they think about their most favorite beautiful flower, but these are very underrated in my opinion. Just look at these gorgeous tubular flowers. These are pollinators heaven, with the nectar stored way back in the back of the tube. The leaves of this plant and its succulent juicy stems have been used in the past and still currently to treat skin irritations from things like wood nettle to poison ivy when you're out in the woods. And like I said, this is a native annual, so it reseeds every year and then dies. And the seeds will germinate in just about any sunny to shady wet spot. And you can see here, there's not a lot of root mass to them. And so how do these seeds move about, you may ask? Do something eat it? And then spread it out later? Or does it have some other method? such as like when I touch it. All right, let's watch that again in slow motion here. This is a unripe seed pod to kind of give you a better idea of how this works. And so you can see this here in slow motion, the spring loaded seed pods. Look at that. One more time on an unripe one so you can kind of see that spring-loaded action go. Man, who wouldn't want these in their yard? These are incredibly satisfying to pop. All right, here's a good one now. Look at that. Oh, and the best seed, seed pod here for last. And many things may visit these flowers, uh, but like butterflies that you see here, they aren't the primary pollinators here because they don't actually collect the pollen. They're just taking the nectar. This is a ruby-throated hummingbird. It actually pollinates. It can reach far back into the back of the tube, and as it head enters the tube it gets hit by the pollen on the top of the flower and then it carries it to the next and to the next and just spreads the pollen around to each and every plant but one of the best pollinators of this is Bombus impatiens the aptly named Bombus impatiens and that is the common eastern bumblebee It digs itself way back in the back, collecting the nectar, but then actually also collects the pollen on the way in and out on its body. So unlike the hummingbird who's accidentally collecting the pollen, this bumblebee collects it on its body and then removes it and stores it in the little sections on its legs that you can see there the pollen baskets, or the corbicula. So who wouldn't want this beautiful native annual in their yard? Even though it won't stay where you want it, if you collect the seeds, you can put the seeds right where you want it. But who wouldn't want such an entertaining plant in their home landscape? one of my favorite native plants and a very entertaining one at that.